Hi, let's glue some things together. First we're gonna do styrene, then we're gonna do lexan, then we're gonna do PLA. So, got all these little squares and things cut out. First we're gonna start with what I prefer to use, and that's M-E-K substitute. I just have it in this little jar because it's got a little brush on it. So I'm going to do two kinds of joints. I'm going to do lap joint and like a T joint. So with the M-E-K Brush a little on. Make sure it gets in there. And you get it oozing out a little bit. And um, that's it. You could clamp it. <laughs> like little spring clamps if you want. But we shouldn't need to. Set it aside. Let's do a T. Look at that. It's all it takes. So next we're going to do basically the same type of um, glue, but it's actually like a solvent weld. Um, and this is stuff that's actually marketed, you know, as hobby glue. This is Mr. Hobby, Mr. Cement S, adhesive for plastic styrene surfaces. So it's got a nice little, uh, nice little brush in the cap. So if you want to use MEK or something like that and you don't have a jar, you just buy one of these, use it up, and then you can just refill it. Same thing. Brush a little on. This stuff dries pretty quick. So this little applicator would be a lot better for like detail gluing and like small models. Oh no. So this doesn't seem to melt as well as the MEK substitute or as quickly. Okay, what's next? So this one, this next method's a lot quicker but it doesn't give you as strong of a bond as the solvent welds. So it's CA, cyanoacrylate.
through. Try it again. Let's hit it with some accelerator. Cool. This is a E6000, so I wouldn't use this to like build a body with or anything. Um, because you can't sand it, because it's like a rubberized stuff, but If you just wanted to glue a piece to something, this would probably be your best bet. Maybe like gluing mirrors on. You could take a little bit of shock. Gluing on little door handles and things. But we'll see how it works here. This is probably not gonna work well with the little T-joint. Without some support. And then the last method for styrene to styrene, we're going to try out Weld On 16, I guess they call it. I've had this for a while and I've never tried it on anything, but it's supposed to be able to glue like any kind of plastic. So I don't know if it melts it like the other stuff or it's more like a glue, but it's got some friendly chemicals in it that should definitely melt some plastic. Methyl ethyl ketone. That's the ticket. Um, it doesn't have a brush in the applicator. It's kind of like a thick goo. So we'll just use an old paintbrush. Let's see how that works. I think it takes a while to set up though. 24, 48 hours. Hey, maybe we'll clamp that one for fun, or for science. I already don't like it, but then again, it may be bad. I've had it a few years and never used it. Okay, next. Styrene to Lexan. That happens sometimes. Maybe you're gonna try to modify a clear body and make it look less bad. So let's try CA. This probably won't work. I should say it probably won't work well. It'll hold it together, but probably wouldn't hold on for long, especially with the flexing of the body. Obviously, you'd want to paint on the outside if you were doing this kind of stuff. You could avoid it entirely by just not using Lexan bodies. Hmm. 
Now another thing, the SEA will do it, will fog this clear plastic from the vapor, or fumes, or whatever. Weld on. I wonder if it'll be able to melt this. It didn't melt my brush. Wow. Let's just do lap joints. We won't bother with the T joints on this stuff. And E6000. So it's kind of got the same consistency that weld on stuff. I wonder if it's like the same. Squish. Lexan to Lexan. Let's do CA. Okay, let's do this. Go. Oh no. I'm short a piece. Bonus, how to cut Lexan, score and snap. E6000. And the last plastic we're going to demonstrate is PLA, like 3D printed. So I printed these little squares. If you printed an ABS, you could probably use all the same methods for the styrene to styrene and avoid all this. But PLA is a little uh, different. So what? I mostly use CA when I assemble PLA things, bodies and whatever. And most of the joints are the butt joints. So that's how we're going to do it. So with the butt joint, it's not very strong because it'll just snap on the joint. So what I usually do, if I can, I 
like inside a body or something, I'll just take a piece of scrap styrene and lap it just to reinforce the joint and either I'll CA it on or E6000. But we'll just do just like that for demonstration. And we're gonna try this one last time. This is what I think I originally bought it for, for putting together bodies, but I just never got around to it. It seems to dry pretty quick here. It's all ruined my brush already. It's a little messy. I don't like it. Please tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Now let's glue it to the table. And the final method is two part epoxy in a little liquid syringe thingy. Sounds messy. So I've let all this stuff cure for about 36 hours and we're going to start with the um, Weld On 16. Um, so the stuff dried hard, but look at that, it didn't bond at all, didn't even try, it just broke. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a pretty strong joint. Broke the styrene. Hmm. Okay, so pretty good for lap joints. It's all breaking as one. And this is the uh, E6000. It's got, it's got some stretch. Or, um, but it comes right off. So once again, good for gluing your side mirrors or door handles and stuff on, but not for scratch building bodies. Like a grilled cheese. C A. Not bad, not bad. Oh. So, if you wanted to use this, you could give it a little more uh, tooth before you glue it. Kind of like score it with a knife or some rough sandpaper. So in theory, there's more surface for the glue to stick to. 
All right, the Mr. Cement S. Wow. Either none of the stuff is very good or I'm very bad at all this. So, lap joints are stronger. Yeah, that's a solid piece. They have been fused. And this would be a good one, right? This is the MEK. Hmm. This styrene's weird. I've never seen it like delaminate like this. Maybe it's a bad batch of plastic. This was all a waste of time. Oh. Well, we're too far into it now. Okay, styrene to Laxan. This would be the uh, E6000 here. It's pretty good. It's peeling up a little. Weld on 16. So, kind of seems like it melted a little bit in, but still didn't get a bond. A little bit of pitting, like it was eating in a little bit. Here's the CA. Yeah, it's like peeled off the top layer of the styrene. Yeah, see? Kind of held on a little. Lexan, Lexan. E6000. Ah, right off. Well done. Hey. There you go. There's the winner. Well done. Side grip. 16. I don't even know what it's called. There's a lot of names on the bottle. So it kind of dried to a, yeah, it's like a hard thing. So if you want to modify Lexan bodies, try this stuff. CA, figured out what happened. And last, PLA. Here's the two-part epoxy, Gorilla Glue. That was disappointing. But like I said, you can put a little bit of plastic over the back, then your bodies won't break in half. And here's the weld on. Yeah, just like that. A little stronger than the epoxy. CA. And that's the strongest, strongest one, and the quickest and easiest. So that's your winner there, in my opinion. It's like bending. And that is uh, Starbond, medium thick. Look at that. So don't even waste your time with all that other stuff. Just glue it. And there we have it. Finally broke. Here's the winners for styrene to styrene MEK substitute. 
or styrene to Lexan. Um, I guess probably this. None of them really did well uh, for Lexan to Lexan. This for sure. And PLA, the CA. If there's any other how-to videos you'd like me to make, please let me know. Thanks for watching.